In this video, we will learn about multi-site or allosteric enzymes. Multi-site or allosteric enzymes and its kinetics. So, if there are, if any enzyme has got more than one site for any substrate to bind, then that enzyme is called as multi-site or allosteric enzyme. It is going to have more than one site for the substrate to bind. So, how to write the equation for this kind of enzyme? So, enzyme can bind to the substrate giving us ES. Also, this enzyme will have another site to which substrate can bind that will give us SE. So, we are assuming that this enzyme has got two sites. If it is bind, if it is bound to this site, we are going to call it SE. If it is bound to this, we will call it ES. The dissociation constants are not going to vary so this is called as non cooperative binding that means even if the substrate binds to the enzyme its dissociation constant is not going to vary it might happen that once one substrate binds to this the another substrate will have more affinity or it will have less affinity then we will have a different dissociation constant as alpha ks but in this case this is non cooperative so we will have es plus s will also have ks as dissociation constant which will give us s e s s e plus s will also give s e s this s e can form product plus enzyme. This SES can also form product as there are two substrates bound. It can give us ES plus P or SE plus P. So here it is going to be 2KP. Also this ES can also give rise to product KP. So it is going to be E plus P. So this is the enzyme equation for non-cooperative sites of allosteric enzymes. So how will we write the instantaneous velocity equation? In normal circumstances where is when it is uni-uni reaction we write V is equal to Kp into Es but here there are three equations that are leading to the formation of product which are rate limiting step. So instantaneous velocity is going to be equal to Kp into the concentration of Es plus Kp into the concentration of Se plus 2Kp into the concentration of Ses. Now we divide this equation with the total enzymes concentration. So we will directly do, do that, the total enzymes. Now how many forms of enzymes are present here? A free enzyme is present, E, ES is present, SE is present and SES is present. So total enzyme, we are going to divide this also by total enzyme. So it is free enzyme plus SE plus ES plus SES. Now we will replace these terms SE, ES, SES with respect to E so that we can cancel it out. Now ES is equal to concentration of S by KS into E you can go to the videos where I have explained Michaelis-Menten equation, how to get this equation. 
SE will be equal to SE by KS into E. SES will be equal to S by KS, S by KS into ES or SE, anything, ES or SE. We have the value of ES, so we are going to replace this value. ES is equal to S by KS into E. So SES will be equal to S into KS as it is. This ES is S by KS into E. So this will be equal to S square by KS square into E. Now we will replace the value of ES, SE and SES in this equation. And we will solve it. We will get V by ET. is equal to kp into es so s by ks into e plus kp into s by ks into e plus 2 kp into value of ses that is s square by ks square into e divided by these values again e plus se that is s by ks into e plus es s by ks into e plus ses that is s square by ks square into e if we solve this we will get here now there are two kps so two kp s by ks into e we will get v by et v by et is equal to two kp S by KS plus 2 KP S square by KS square divided by 1 plus 2 S by KS plus S square by KS square. When we solve this, when we take this 2kp here, we will get v max. So v by v max is equal to s by ks plus s square by ks square divided by 1 plus 2s by ks plus s square by ks square. Now this happens in case of, this is the equation for non-cooperative binding. In cooperative binding, I have told you that there is going to be alpha, which is going to come into the picture because in cooperative binding, the binding's uh, affinity will change. Now let us understand, now this was for when the, it was dimer. In dimer, there are two sites of enzymes where substrate can bind. So, if there are four sites, if it is a tetramer, then what will be the equation? Now, let us look at this diagram. If it is a tetramer, in four ways the substrate can bind to the enzyme so there are four ways to make es so it is going to be 4 kp into s by ks there are six ways by which the substrate can bind to the tetramer at two sites the substrate has bound to the tetramer at two 
sides. So there are six ways to make ES2. We are going to call this as ES2 where two sides are bound by substrate. So there are six ways. So we will write six here and then it is ES2. So we will write 2KP as two substrates are binding and S square by K square. Plus there are four ways in which three sides can be bound by the substrate. So we will write 4 into 3 kp because three, subs, three sides are bound. So it is going to be 3 kp s cube by k s cube plus there is only one way by which four sides are bound. So we will write 1 4 kp because four sides are bound plus s raised to 4 by k s raised to 4 divided by 1 plus 4 s by k s 6 s square by k square plus 4 s cube by k cube. Now I will write this equation. Now this is the equation for non-cooperative sides we will get V by ET is equal to now there are four ways to make ES1 so 4 into 1 KP because one uh, site is bound by substrate S by KS plus there are six ways so six and two sides are bound so 2 kp into s square by ks square plus there are four ways to make es3 so four into as there are three uh, sides bound three kp ks uh, sorry s cube by ks plus there is only one way in which four sides can be bound so 1 into kp 4 kp as four sides are bound 4 kp s rest to 4 by es rest to ks rest to 4 divided by 1 plus 4 s by k s plus 6 s cube by k s cube plus 4 sorry s square by k s square s cube by k s cube plus s rest to 4 by k s rest to now when we solve this for V by V max, we will get V by V max. For that we are going to take 4 kp common from here. We will multiply this 4 kp by et. That, is, that will give us maximum velocity as there are 4 sites. So 4 kp is going to give us maximum velocity. So when we take 4 kp out here, it is going to be S by KS. Now this is 12 KP. From here we have taken 4 KP. So this is going to be 3. S cube by KS cube. Now here also again there are 12 KPs. We have taken 3 KPs out. So it is going to be. I'm sorry. We have taken 4 KPs out. So it is going to be 3 S cube by KS cube plus here there was 4 kp so it remains 1 only one plus 4 s by k s plus 6 square by k square plus So in, if we want to write this 
as in general equation if even if you consider the equation for dimer or tetramer in general the equation will be v by v max is equal to s by ks 1 plus s by ks n minus 1 rest to n minus 1 1 plus s by ks rest to n now you can try to solve this n is number of sites to which the substrate can bind so you can try solving this equation i will explain about allosteric enzyme and its cooperative bindings enzyme kinetics in another video